Imagine uploading a fresh horoscope video in 10 different languages before you finish your morning coffee. Today, I'm revealing the N8N template that does exactly that. I'll show you the backend workflow, the finished video, and how you can clone it in minutes. Ready to level up your content game? Let's dive in. So this is the first step in the template. What you will do is grab this template, set up the schedule trigger to run daily. What this template does, it's generating each day five different videos in this Google spreadsheet. So today it's Scorpio, it's Thursday, June 26. We have picked a background music song. You can select any song you like. What we are doing is we have a function node in here that's outputting the uh, zodiac sign, the date, and the day of the year. Then this agent will output for all the languages adjacent that will be parsed into this. So as you can see, language English, and this is the first uh, topic, caption, uh, video category. Um, then uh, we already selected a voice ID. Uh, we are using 11 Labs for this uh, workflow, but you can do any voice you like. Would you? Uh, we will. I will show it to you in the template how you can change that. Um, so here are all the languages. Let's continue. Then we are splitting out the parsed output from the agent into uh, four uh, main topics. So horoscope uh, in English in Dutch, in Spanish, in German, and in France. Then we are selecting some uh, settings for the video. As you can see, we are uh, generating a video, video category. Uh, we have selected a bucket name, but uh, it's not necessary to do this anymore. But uh, if you have a Google bucket, you can do it. Uh, we are setting the length of the video in here. And uh, we are outputting the language the voice ID and the background music. So if you would like to have different kind of background music, just change this URL to whatever music you like. And eventually we are sending it to the Google spreadsheet. Then this will be the output. Um, so run this one every day. Then we will go to the, to the workflow to generate the videos. If you have selected the new videos, then if you, if you have generated the new videos, then you can uh, run this step to get the first topic. So uh, I've already run some tests. So this is the French output. Then we are selecting just one. The first item is the astrologer. Um, he is, uh, in this case, she. She's writing the uh, Zodiac astrology horoscopes. So this is the whole prompt. I won't bother you with all the insights. So for this test one, we are just generating um, videos between 20 seconds with 10 to 40 words voiceover. Um, yes, then uh, the output will be uh, uh, set into a uh, set note, so we will generate the speed for the voiceover and the script. Um, yeah, I always split it out, uh, then we are going to generate the title for the video, uh, after that the description. And this is something uh, that we're doing a lot, splitting out the captions, as you can see. Um, I'm using uh, Folion for this template, uh, because they have the best support and service, and they are supporting the best models. And template we're using Foli with their endpoint for 11 Labs, and this is the JSON. If you want to change uh, which model you're using, it's pretty simple to do. Just go to Foli, uh, pick another model, text to speech, uh, Minimax is pretty good, Chatterbox, that's the Minimax. Copy this top part, go to your workflow, change this to, a, to the new one, uh, change the setting as you want, and then go to JSON and just copy this part, paste it in, and everything will be working. Uh, there's a wait note, and we are going to get the result. Uh, the nice thing about Foli is that they output a URL. So especially in YouTube automation, uh, not working with binary data and up uploading and downloading data to your workflows uh, is saving you a lot of memory. So uh, Foli AI, definitely check them out. Then we are using a script agent that's going to generate a segment for the script. This is really powerful. Uh, this is something I have never seen on diff other workflows. They sometimes use a function node to to do this, but you can just use an agent. This agent is using a structured output. As you can see, the output is just like we want it to be with start, duration, and text. Um, this is the structured output. So that's why we are getting the output like we do. Then we're splitting out the segments, so just using them. Then we are uh, using a little uh, function node to make sure that every index, so every segment, 
So there are 10 segments in this video, gets its own uh, integer. That's really important because especially if you're doing automation with these kind of templates for YouTube, you will face a lot of trouble with generating the prompts and making the prompts for the images uh, feel like a real story because the agent will just keep on reusing the same input uh, and not make sure that he uses a different kind of index. So what you will see in this uh, system agent, what we have done is we have selected, so it's an opening. The first four scenes have to be with these kind of uh, image prompts and details. So the second must be used for this and, and so on. So this is really important if you want to generate a storytelling video. Then uh, we are going to generate the images. And of course, there's a wait note and we will get the result. We will aggregate all the images. So all the URLs, for all the images are here. And what I'm doing with the image prompt is making the images like this. So with text in them, I assume that people that like watching horoscope and astrology like these kind of templates uh, and images. So let's take a look at another one like this one. As you can see there's text there is mystical, uh, a lot of nice colors. So that's pretty cool. Then we are mapping all the data because we are using a special node today. As you can see, this is the JSON if you don't want to use the node, but I will just show you the new semi-automation custom node. Uh, a node built for the JSON to video rendering. What you will be able to do with this node is just drag and drop. So you can select the aspect ratio uh, for this, template I'm building long form content. So this whole template is set up to generate long form content. If I would like to change it to shorts, it's really important to change the images because otherwise it won't work. So what you can do is when you grab the template, duplicate the template and generate just like this, 16, open up a new template, go to the images part, change this to nine by 16 and go to the note and change this to 9 by 16 and you're done. Now you can generate with this template shorts. So easy is this. Let's get back to the old template. Then we are generating the video. We have a wait note and we are going to get the progress. So let's just take a quick look at the video. Bonjour, chère Vierge. Aujourd'hui, Luna te voit rayonnante. N'hésite pas à faire confiance à ton intuition. Elle est très juste. En amour, ose que petit geste que tu as en tête et sera très apprécié. Pretty cool. Uh, especially the the intro, as you can, I will just rewind it and play it again. This intro is generated with an AI video model. As you can see, the the channel, the logo, everything is is pretty good generated. We are going to uh, append the row with the results. So we just run this one, the French one, as you can see, and it's posted to YouTube. We download the video, you can watch Bonjour, it here, and we post it to YouTube, and we update the row again with the video ID. So this is the template. If you have any questions about the template, just contact me on school or on the, my Twitter. And of course, in the comment section of the YouTube video. Let me know which type of video niche you're going to build with it. And if you want to customize stuff. Have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Share it with your friends or with your community.